Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the OnePlus N35G. Now you can pick this one up online, I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one is 300 bucks. Now on a side note, they got two really good deals going on right now. If you pick this up from Best Buy and activate it at Best Buy, you're gonna save 100 bucks, dropping the price down to 200 bucks. Now, if you pick this up from Amazon, it comes with the OnePlus Nord Budge 2 for free. So either way you look at it, that's two pretty good deals. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now, this one comes in one color, chromatic gray. For the display, you got a 6.72 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. That is 391 for the PPI Patrol. You got glass on the front, a plastic frame with a plastic back, up to 700 nits brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 with the Adreno 619 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Budget specs, bro, budget specs. Now you got eight gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, and you do have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to one terabyte. Now it's running Android 13 with Oxygen OS 13.1 skin on top. You got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 50 watt fast charge. For the cameras, on the rear you got a triple setup. So you got a 108 megapixel wide angle, two megapixel depth center, and a two megapixel macro lens. Now you can shoot video at 1080p, 30 frames per second. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel wide angle lens, and you can shoot video at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, face unlock, a side mounted fingerprint sensor, and you got a headphone jack. All right, so all of that for 300 bucks, what's missing? Now keep this in mind, this is a budget phone, so we're not gonna go too crazy with all of the gripes, but just so you know, there's no IP rating, so it's not water resistant, there's no wireless charge, no Super AMOLED display, no 4K video, no always on display, and no ultra wide camera. But for a budget phone, this is pretty good. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I white love shoes. my white shoes. Calm down. Okay, here we go. OnePlus Nord, <laughs> Nord N35G. All right, the N stands for Nord. Let's see what you get inside. Now, this is a nice black box. Y'all know I like that. Giggity. Let's see if this is gonna be one-stop shopping. Okay, so you get your red cable club. <laughs> card for it. Let me just go ahead and pluck that, file it to the side. Let's see anything else in here. Okay, that's it for that. It's gonna be your device. You got your charging cable. That's gonna be USB A to USB type C. Let's just make sure it's red, why not? You part of the red cable club, beautiful. 50 watt fast charging brick in the box. Samsung, Google, Apple, pay attention, okay? This is a phone right here that you could get for under 300 bucks and you get the charger in the box. Okay, let's get a little wipe down on this one because it is a fingerprint magnet. Bang, here it is. OnePlus N35G. Beautiful looking budget device. Now, <laughs> It is definitely a fingerprint magnet. I got OCD, so I'm gonna have to keep this handy. But here it is, in chromatic gray. All right, so let me power this up, delete my browsing history, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, before I do the full review, let me sum up my opinion on this phone right now. This is the perfect phone for the kids. Okay, this is the perfect phone for your parents. This is the perfect phone for somebody who already has an iPhone and maybe you wanna play around with an Android phone, you don't wanna to spend too much money, this is the perfect phone for somebody who's not really into photography, not heavy on social media. You just want a phone that's gonna run the internet, make phone calls and text messages, take a few photos here and there, and you don't wanna spend a thousand bucks, this is it right here. And in my personal opinion, this is what OnePlus should be doing. Okay, OnePlus should stop making the flagship phones. Now, as much as I did like the OnePlus 10 Pro and the OnePlus 11, at those prices, who's gonna pick a OnePlus over a Galaxy or a Xiaomi or an Oppo? Okay, OnePlus shines with the budget and mid-range phones. That's my opinion. Now, if you look closely, 
This is basically a watered-down version of the H2V. And this is also a great mid-range phone. But this is a great budget phone. Now, when I say budget phone, I mean a phone that costs under 300 bucks. Now, if you buy this from Best Buy, it's going to be 200 bucks. That's under 300 bucks. And if you buy it from Amazon, you get the earbuds free. So if you subtract the price for the OnePlus Buds, that makes the phone around 250 bucks. Budget phone status. Okay, let's look around real quick. On the back, there's your triple camera setup, LED flash, plastic build. Okay, now with the plastic build, it's definitely more durable. That's why I say this is a great phone for the kids and a great phone for your parents. Or if you got butterfinger writers and you're always dropping your phones, the plastic build is going to be more durable. Okay, but it is a certified fingerprint magnet. Now you got the plastic frame. Okay, on the top, you got a sensor. On one side, there's your SIM tray slash micro SD card slot. Remember, you got expandable memory on this. There's your volume up and down. On the bottom, headphone jack. Say it again, headphone jack. USB Type-C charging slot and one of your speaker grills. Now the other speaker grill is in the earpiece and there's your front facing camera. Let me get another little wipe down so I can show y'all one more time. Here's how it's gonna look. Now there's a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can swipe up, put in your pad into your pin. Okay, there it is. You got face unlock. Okay, you seen how fast that was? And you got your side mounted fingerprint sensor. Now this works flawlessly. We'll do three in a row. Bang, there it is. Okay, swipe over once. Now this is the global version, so it's gonna work on all your carriers. There's your Google homepage. Running Android 13, so all your Android 13 widgets. Now I will say this. This is not the smoothest and snappiest phone on the market, okay? Now, it doesn't lag a lot, but it's just not ultra fast. But you get what you pay for. Okay, so let's swipe down. You got all your basic toggles, and I'm not gonna go through all of these, but you do got nearby share, ultra power saving mode, does have NFC, screen record, and uh, screen sharing, NFC tagging. Let's go to more connections. Just to double check, okay, you got VPNs, NFC, private DNS, and Android Auto. Okay, so everything is on deck. Let's go to wallpapers and style. Now, no always on display on this one. Okay, IPS LCD panel, it is what it is. But you do got a bunch of wallpapers, colors, quick settings, all your standard settings. Okay, now let's see, and I'm just gonna run through this. There's nothing we really need to see too much. Let's go to display and brightness. 120 hertz refresh rate. Okay, we'll do 30 minutes. Refresh rate, like I said, all the way up to 120. Let's go to notifications, nothing to really see there. Face unlock, fingerprint sensor, and you got smart lock. Okay, 5,000 milliamp battery. Now this is one of the best things about this phone and why I say this is a good work phone. The battery life on this is insane. Now remember, no always on display, no super AMOLED panel that's gonna increase your battery life dramatically. Now I've been using this phone for about three or four days and I only charged it up once. <laughs> okay, so this is a good trap phone, all right, your scumbag phone that you wanna leave in the glove compartment. Fellas, you know what I'm talking about. This is it right here. Okay, let's take it over to special features. You got split screen multitasking. You do got fle flexible floating windows. You got your smart sidebar. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Okay, that's gonna give you your apps on the side, which are fully customizable. Okay, exit out of that. Uh, you got uh, kids mode, simple mode, zen space. Okay. Anything else we need to see? Digital well-being. If you buy this for the kids, monitor their scumbag activities or monitor your own. <laughs> you know, it's what it is. Okay, so let's see. This is 128 gigs. Now I got all of my apps on here, which took about half of that. Almost half. Okay, eight gigs of RAM. Triple camera setup. Simple and clean, okay? This is a simple phone. Now, if you notice, like I said, it's not the zippiest. I hate using those kind of words, snappy and zippy, but it's not the snappy and zippiest. Now, of course, if you're an Androidologist, you can go to developer options, turn down the window transitions, turn down the animation scaling, and get it to be a little bit more zippy. But um, if you're buying these kind of $300 phones, most of the people who buy these, they ain't not really the tech savviest people on the planet. So this is how it's gonna run. That's how I'm gonna run mine straight out of the box. Let's check the web browsing speeds. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. 
Opening web page. Okay, here it is, full website. Now remember, this is a budget phone, but it's still nice and smooth. 120 hertz refresh rate. Look at that. Let's do a little split screen multitasking. Okay, we'll do Facebook on the bottom. And there it is. Now watch this. If you want to, we can open this up as a floating window. Move it around. So now I could be doing other stuff. And if I want to, put it to the side for later. All right, so now let's test out the dual stereo speakers. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? Okay, I'm gonna come up the bottom. This is just the top. These speakers sound surprisingly good. Here's both. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. Look, for three hundred bucks. These speakers actually sound pretty good. All right, so now let's take a look at this 6.7 inch IPS LCD panel. Now remember, this is a budget phone, so it's not gonna be the brightest, it's not gonna have the best viewing angles, but it's decent. Now this is maximum brightness. Basically no bezels. Little cutout for your camera. You see the viewing angles? Start to disappear a little bit. But for 300 bucks, it's gonna get the job done. Beautiful. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's try a little gaming. Of course, I got Asphalt 9 queued up. Here we go. I'm not really gonna try to win. I'm gonna see if we can get this to lag. Oh, oh a little backwards action. <laughs> All right. I say I'm not going to try to win, but my killer instinct kicks in. I hate to lose, so I got to go for the title. Here we go. Oh, I missed the ramp. All right, I'm not even, all right let me stop playing. Um, can, I, can I pull it off at the end? Can I pull it off at the end? I'm styling. All right, here we go. <laughs> I know, I know. Anyway, okay, gaming on the N30. No issues at all, and this is gonna be a perfect phone for the little kids because that's what they're gonna be doing. Under 300 bucks. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. Now keep in mind, this is a budget phone, so you're not gonna get the Xiaomi 13 Ultra experience, but for 300 bucks, this is actually pretty good. Let's go through the different shooting modes. You got night mode, which you can zoom all the way up to six times. You got video. Now video, you can also zoom up to six times and you can shoot 1080p, 30 frames per second from the front and on the back. Now here's the only downside. When you go to your regular photos, there's no ultra wide angle, but you do got wide angle and you can zoom up to six times. Now you got portrait mode, you can change the bokeh effect. You got pro mode, extra HD. Okay, you got panorama, macro, slow motion, time lapse, dual video front and back, and you got your tech scanner. All right, so take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. Thank you.
Now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now just because you're buying a budget phone and saving some money, that doesn't mean you're okay with a phone that runs like shit. So I wanna show you how this phone runs in the real world doing day-to-day -day activities. Okay, so you wake up in the morning, there's no always on display, so you pick up the phone, hit that fingerprint sensor, opens right up. Now remember, you also got face unlock. First thing I like to do, swipe over, get a fresh refresh, and let's see what's going down with the Google feed. All right, this is where I get the majority of my news from. Okay, so we got the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, okay, with the super camera setup. I actually got one, which on another side note, a lot of people have been asking me, where's the full review on that? This is what I was waiting for. Okay, I got the limited edition white ultra camera setup. I'm doing that video next week. This is the second best Android phone in the market behind Galactus 2.0. Okay, so we got the Redmi K60, okay, 120 watt charging. Samsung, you see that? Okay, <laughs> iPad, got a low price. Now that looks like the uh, peasant pad, but it is what it is. Okay, Best Buy. Remember, if you buy this phone from Best Buy, you're getting it for 200 bucks. Now I picked mine up from Amazon, so I got it for uh, 300 bucks, but I got the OnePlus Nord Buds for free. Okay, so anybody who wants to buy this phone from me, I'll send you the Buds too. Let's see, you got the Poco X5, we already seen that. Okay. Banging, oh, y'all heard about that um that submarine that uh, they finally found today? The, uh, the the U.S. Navy said they heard it explode a couple of days ago. Like, damn, yeah. why keep us in suspense like that? Anyway, we got the Realme Pad 2. All right, we'll get in and check this one out later. Gadgets.com, okay, I like that site. Okay, now I just got this in the mail today. My ROG Alley. So I'm going to do that video on Saturday. All right, that's my next video coming up. Okay, we got these, um, <laughs> we got the I'm calling the cops ones, 289, okay. Anyway, so here's how your Google feed is gonna look. It's a shame, man. You go to look for the Titanic and end up chilling with the Titanic. That's a hard way to go, man. That is a hard way to go. RIP to those uh, lost souls out there. All right, so Pixel got some new phones coming out soon. We got the Fold coming up. The Pixel Fold, June 28th, I believe mine's comes. Anyway, so that's how your Google homepage is gonna look. Next thing I like to do, check the weather. Okay, so tomorrow looks like rain. Okay, I'm going out to dinner with Amaya tomorrow, so let me pack my umbrella, keep it pushing. Next, let's do a little work. Okay, so I'll take it over to my Gmail. Okay, let's go ahead and reply to some emails. Now, this is what you're gonna be doing. Thanks, bruh. Okay, send. Okay, exit out of that. And there's all your emails. Okay, so you can easily use this as your work phone. Now, if I want to, let's go ahead and put that in the floating window because although we're going to be doing some social media savagery, I'm going to keep that to the side so just in case I got to start working at any moment. Now, you do have, you see your side panel, so I could do a quick screenshot, screen record, add your files, go crazy. Next, let's go to, let's see, let's see what's going down on Facebook. Okay. I'm having a very hard time today, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Definitely could use some support. Let me go ahead and give you some support. All right, let me do that, give you some support. That's how you got to do. Sometimes people looking for support, you know, just give them some support. You know, Stop being cheap with the likes, okay? Sometimes a like can really make somebody's day. Okay. <laughs> Keisha, okay, I see it. 
Okay, now what is this? Now this look like some um, new grilling techniques. You see what I'm saying? You know, when I see food, I just immediately just freeze, yo. Like that's a fat people floor right there, yo. Fat people tend to freeze, yo. Okay, my man Grizz out here. Okay, Yolanda, everybody chilling. Okay, let's see. Somebody ran a marathon. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is um a extra durable drone. Now, I haven't flown a drone in a couple of years. I still got mine it's collecting dust in the closet. I don't know why I don't use it, but this one actually looks pretty sick. Looks very durable. Okay, anyway, here's how your Facebook is going to look. See everybody graduating, everybody doing their thing. Shout out to my man Steve O. Back in the days, I was one of my guys. Okay, my man Iceberg. <laughs> now, shout out to Denon. Also, I hit them up on Instagram the other day. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get my hands on these, but I'm not trying to buy these. So before I buy something, I always got to hit up the company first and see if they want to be generous enough, you know what I'm saying, to let me test them out. But they basically told me to go eat a dick. So it is what it is. Y'all might not see the Denon there. Because, well, they want like 350 bucks on these. I don't know about Denon for 350 bucks. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about all that. Anyway, okay, so that's how your Facebook is going to look. Again, if we want to, we could do split screen multitasking. Let's take it over to Twitter. So I can continue scrolling on Facebook. And at the same time, take it to Twitter. And at any moment, I can resize them. I can switch from Twitter to the top and bottom. Or I could just go full screen Twitter. And again, I could always go back to my Gmails, finish some work, put that to the side. All right, so let's see what's going down on Twitter. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see. What am I tagged in today? Okay, that's the Google Pixel tablet. That Pixel tablet is actually dope. I'm, I'm actually using this in my rotation. You see, I got the stand down here. That's going to be my in the basement tablet. Unless one of y'all banana heads want to buy it from me, then I'll sell it to you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, look at this. What's, what's, what's this going on? I don't, I got my, I'm going to have to pull out Google Translate and see what's going on here. But whatever that is, let me get in like that. Let's see a little white shoes. Somebody telling white shoes to calm down. You can't just say calm down. Calm down. Okay, let's see. Somebody said, I'm loving that Spectrum life. Yeah, of course, man. It is what it is, man. In Queens, we got Spe 5, 5G. You know, it is what it is, bro. Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to actually reply. Why not? Yes, sir. Now, I put, yes, sir. All right, so when you read this, all right, my man Aaron, when you read that, read it in my voice. Yes, sir. All right, let's see anything else. Um, Okay, now. Okay, this is the kind of stuff we've seen yesterday already. This is that techno, that techno phone. I got the other techno phone. I'll probably do that next week. Okay, why do reviewers choose to wear a competitor's watch while reviewing a different product? Many reviewers wear an Apple watch while reviewing an Android phone. How does this practice continue contribute to the credibility when discussing their, what they're reviewing? All right, now, should I, now should, I, should, I, should I reply to this? Look, I'm not even going to reply to this. I'm, I'm going to give you my verbal respond, reply because we wear whatever the fuck we want to wear. All right, that's a stupid fucking question, honestly. Okay, that, that's a stupid question. When you're doing a review, it's not a sales pitch. All right, when I'm reviewing this phone right now, I got on a Samsung watch. I could have wore a OnePlus watch, but this is not a sales video. This is a review. Okay, what does it matter what watch I'm wearing? You know, some of y'all be asking some stupid fucking questions, man. And this is why I tend to stay off Twitter. This is exactly why I tend to stay off Twitter. All right, let's see if anybody, um, let me see if any... <laughs> Let me, let, let, I'm not even. Let me stop entertaining. I'll go back and and roast later, yo. But if you, yo, let me see. Um, Fahrenheit. If you watch this video, that's a stupid fucking question. Okay, it's a stupid fucking question. Anyway, let's keep it moving. All right. So let, let me get off Twitter before I start getting angry. You see my blood pressure. Uh, Twitter needs to have a feature where you can slap somebody through the app. That would be a good feature. Like tell a person to put the phone right on the side of their cheek, and you slap your phone, and your phone just give them an electric shock. Yo. I Elon Musk, yo, you can have that idea for free. All right, let's see what else. Let's take it over to uh, what we got next. Let's go to uh, TikTok. All right, TikTok is more, a little bit more entertaining. All right, the fuck, you know what I'm saying? I am, yeah. All right, no new, no new friends, no new friends. All right, what is this shit? <laughs> All right, what the fuck is this shit? All right, now let's see what, um, let's see what I image they give them from using that to the face. Okay, well, yeah, all right. That's some Black Panther type shit. Okay, it is what it is. I know. Okay, all right, big man. Let's see what you got. Whoa. Now he bringing that punch in from Cincinnati. He better get over 800 on the score. Let's see. If he even hits it, he might miss. Okay, let's see. Over 800? Yeah, he definitely got to get over 800 after all that wind up. 
Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Now, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I did this at Coney Island. I, I had a 960 one year at Coney Island. You know what I'm saying? I, I, this is a long time ago. But, uh, I mean, uh, this is a long time ago before all of the uh, social media sites. So don't, nobody got it on file. But it is what, now I need to do this shit right here. Because look at this. I need that shit to make me look like this right here, yo. <laughs> what, what app is this, yo? Cap cut. Let me go ahead and download that shit later, yo. Yeah, this is I'm um, a little dramatic, a little dramatic video showing how deep that submarine is. Like, even if they would have found that shit, how, to, how are you going to get it back up there? <sighs> I don't know, man. And look, here's one thing. We can't really just say, oh, that, they stupid for going down there. Man, we be taking the same chances every day. When you fly on an airplane, you taking that same chance that they took in that submarine. You in a tube, you up in the air. They up in the tube in the water. Either way, we all taking that same chance. Now, it might be, you know, a little bit more risky taking that chance for nothing. Like, at least when I'm taking that chance flying, at least I have a, you know, I'm, I'm going to see somebody. I'm going to do something. But they could argue the same thing. And maybe this is their passion. They really want to see the Titanic. Nobody can't call them stupid for following one of their dreams. You know what I'm saying? They didn't really know it was going to end out like that. It is what it is, man. <laughs> I'm going on a big rant right now. Shut the fuck up and review the I know what y'all saying. You don't even got to I know y'all. Shut the fuck up and review the phone. All right, my bad. My bad. Now, this dude right here. This dude right here be giving it up. I don't know if y'all ever seen this cat. <laughs> this is a dude right here. You don't want You don't want to get into a fight with this dude right here. This is my, my man be giving it up. Look at this dude right here. This is the ultimate. I remember this video. This is an old video right here. Yo, did you see that flip? Uh, if you're going to run from the cops and, and you do a flip like that, you got to get away. You got to get away. That flip was crazy. <laughs> that flip was crazy. Yeah. Oh, look at this burger. Now, I don't need to be watching this shit yet yeah, because I'm already hungry. All right? Black people say hungry, not hungry. Look, I'm, Amaya tagged me in the reel. Let's see what Amaya talking about. Oh, let me not, let's see. Let's see what Amaya talking about. All right. Come with me to Zuma. Come with me to Zuma. Okay, Amaya, I'm going to come with me to Zuma. Okay, I might be making a little reels nowadays. Oh, y'all see me, y'all see me, you know what I'm saying? Have a little drink, you know what I'm saying? A little lobster, a little calamari. You seen the salt bay? You see me do the salt bay? Okay. Now, I might be like, I'm going to the bathroom. 20 minutes later, I'll be like, yo, were you all right? I thought you passed out in the bathroom. You're up in the bathroom having a photo shoot. Yeah. This is actually a, a, a nice Father's Day little reel right there. Like, you see my little birthday cake I had, you know what I'm saying? A little birthday cake. Okay, anyway, this, 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 uh, that, 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 that was dope. That was dope. Let's exit out of it. Matter of fact, that was Instagram. All right, let's stay on Instagram. All right. <laughs> we already finished with TikTok. But again, if we want to, you see I got all my apps running at the same time. Let's take it back to Instagram. Okay, now, this, you, know, you know, it's a little too early for the jokes. I already seen this one. I, my man Petey, I, it's a little bit, it's a little bit early for the jokes. All right, damn, yeah. Let the let the bodies cool off first. Well, then again, it's kind of cold down there. Let me, look, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shout out to my man Sean from Long Island Audit. All right, this is my guy right here. Let me find out. Let me find out they 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 tossing them out. Now, hit me up in the comments if y'all want to see me go on the First Amendment audit with my man Sean, because this is actually one of my guys in real life. I might have to pull up with him and do one of these audits if y'all want to see me get locked up. <laughs> then again, I ain't getting locked up. And when they be like, "Yo, you gotta go," he be like, "No, this is my right." When they tell me I gotta go, I'll be like, "Peace." <laughs> Say fuck that. Anyway, all right. Let's see. Let's see what's going down on Instagram. Shout out to Long Island Audit. I'll be like, fuck that, I'm out. All right, my man, <laughs> let's see. They got, okay, let's see who getting gapped. Let's see, you got a Corvette. Uh, this is a Corvette. Uh, C8Z06 just got gapped by a Nissan Altima. Damn, yeah. Damn, yeah. Shit going crazy out there. All right, let's see, we got some birds. Okay, we got Harlem Bling. Okay, a little Bling. All right, what's going down here? It's like, a, it's like a little little thought fest right there. Okay, eye right, shoes. Eyes. Right. As soon as I say thought, here come shoes. Yo, calm down, bro. Calm down. All right, let's see what else we got. Now this is um. This look like a um. Uh, <laughs> now if that was a real robot doing this, yo, that would be crazy. <laughs> that would be crazy. Y'all know me. I'm all about the cat videos. And shout out to Instagram for always uh, recommending cat videos. I'm following those immediately. All right, my man King Keto. It's one of my guys, Brandon Carter. Okay, this was a nice little love moment right there. I seen that already. Okay, somebody getting a GTR. Let's see. Now, this is from Brooklyn Auto Sales. Now, remember, this is just how you're going to be using your phone in the real world. Okay? You're going to be scrolling through Instagram, checking your emails. 
Okay, taking some photos here and there. All right, so here's how your Instagram is gonna look. Now these are the Spider-Verse, Spider-Verse Jordans. I'm not really feeling those at all. What y'all think about these? These um, Spider-Verse Jordans. I'm not really feeling these at all. I don't like the little fanny pack on the back. The colorway is pretty dope, but um, that fanny pack stuff, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. All right, anyway, so here's how your Instagram is gonna look. I'm just trying to see, you know, we gotta, gotta see if anything spicy. Ain't nothing spicy. Go okay, I'm sorry, shoot. All right, anyway, so let's ra <laughs> let's raise up out of that. So that's what you're gonna be doing. You got a little cat. You're gonna wanna take some photos. All right, shoes, do something cute. Psst. All right, shoes ain't, do something cute, bro. I had to activate shoes. My bad, sorry, De deactivate. Let me deactivate shoes. All right, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to get a photo. Look, watch this. Okay, so for point and shoot status, all right, you got your pets in the house. Look at the details and the hairs. All right, shoes, bro. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, well, why did I activate shoes? Anyway, you're gonna take some photos, take it over to YouTube. Okay, maybe you're gonna watch a couple of videos. Okay, let's see what's going down on, on YouTube. Who watching the Melly Tribe? Okay. We want to watch some um, Destroyer videos. Okay. Chill out. Watch some videos. Then if I want to, I can exit out of this video. You still got picture and picture. Okay. You see it works great. Floating windows right on top of that. Okay. Floating windows and picture and picture. Exit out of that. So, basically, RDA, regular daily activities. You might want to do a little shopping. Go to FlossyCarter.net. You know what I'm saying? You might want to support one of your favorite YouTubers. Take it over to FlossyCarter.net. You know, you want to buy some merchandise real quick. You know, let's, let's see. Does, does Floss got anything new? Oh, check this out. Floss just dropped a new family shirt. All right, this is a family show t-shirts, $22.99 plus tax. All right, 2411. <laughs> All proceeds go to White Shoes Kitty Little Fun. And you do your little shopping if you want to. Split screen multitasking, and uh, let's do back to TikTok at the same time. Anyway, as you see for yourself, this phone runs nice and smooth, okay? Like I said, not the fastest in the world, but for 300 bucks, you can use this phone all day, every day as your main phone. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the OnePlus N30 a major go. And at 300 bucks and under, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Now, every time I review a budget phone, I got to make the same comment over and over and over. And I'm going to make it again right now. It's 2023. There's no excuse for you, your parents, your kids, okay, to have a decent phone in their pocket. Nobody should be walking around with this anymore, all right? Your moms and your pops, they shouldn't have this anymore. This right here, if you look at the back, it looks like a modern day flagship. Now, let me go ahead and wipe it down one more time. This is one downside. I, I recommend buying the case if you don't like the smudges. This one actually has the glass back. But this is a mid-range phone, and this is the budget version. But from the outside, they both look like modern day phones. This is the OnePlus N30 for under 200 bucks, like I said. One plus, if you watch this video, this is what y'all need to focus on, okay? Keep making these mid-range and budget phones. Y'all can sell these all day long. The flagship phones at, set at what, eight, nine hundred bucks? Nobody ain't buying those. I'm right, sorry to say, nobody ain't buying those. Anyway, well, maybe maybe some of y'all are. Hit me up in the comments and let me know, do y'all like the OnePlus 11 and the OnePlus uh, 10 Pro better than the Galaxy phones and the Xiaomi's and the Oppo's? Let me know. But for me, I'll take all of those over OnePlus. But when it comes to the budget phones, the OnePlus versus like the Samsung A14, that's a good match. I, this is a good space for OnePlus. Anyway, OnePlus N30, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. 
Get the drinks ready, no meat was allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Claus of Mac. Deuces. Spock on the beamer. Hey guys, Jerry Springer here. Uh, subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real reviews. Uh, he has a tech channel on YouTube, and he already has over 2 million subscribers, so uh, give him a look. Uh, you may like it, and it could be very useful. Take care of yourself and each other. <laughs>